With Guam being in a central location in the Pacific, Anderson Air Force Base is a major contributor with evacuee operations in the region. But when evacuees come to Anderson, it's a base-wide effort to assure that the increased flow of resources required to meet the demand of these evacuees is met. There are many different squadrons that play a part in this effort, all of which are essential to the safety and stability of the evacuees and their aircraft. Very often there are natural hazards that can put pack planes at risk, which is why aircraft such as the recently evacuated F-15s from Kadena were at Anderson. The wind strength that, uh, of the Super Typhoon was like forecast for over 120 knots on Kadena. So at certain speeds we can't house all the aircraft uh, in shelters to protect them. So we have to take a number of those uh, off station. Evacuees like these leave it up to squadrons like OSS and their airmen to assure that the increase in aircraft on the flight line does not create troublesome traffic or a costly accident. If airmen can't properly respond to the surplus of aircraft, lives could be at risk. If we're uh, under mill, if we don't have enough equipment, for them to take care of what they need to take care of, then they don't have anything. We gotta make sure they have everything when they need it. The mission comes first, if they need to take off, we gotta help them any way we can. This doesn't just mean an increased workload for OSS though. Many other squadrons play a pivotal role in the success of evacuations to Anderson, including maintenance. More planes means more repairs, and with the additional aircraft added to their already busy workload, it means that there is little time to spare in the shop. If their quota isn't met, planes won't leave the ground. Regardless if they're working out of their home station or they're working here evacuated to Anderson, it's so important that they are able to maintain their warfighting capability. Without that, we're really shutting some things down for them. With many different people playing a part in the safe evacuation of aircraft and people at Anderson, it shouldn't be taken as a simple task. But with the help of airmen from many professions, Anderson remains one of the most capable evacuee bases in PACAF. Reporting from Anderson Air Force Base, I'm Airman First Class Adam Harder.